Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about sun blocks. With the arrival of the summer, clear skies and warm sun are calling many of us to the great outdoor or at least to our own back shores. However, whether you are young or young at heart, it's important to protect your skin from sun rays. That's the because they carry ultraviolet UV radiation which can cause the skin cancer. Before we dive into the sun screen, why is the sun block deep page? Here are some fast facts on skin cancer. The skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed type of the cancer in America according to the American Cancer Societies. The American Academy of Dermatologists says one in the five Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancers. So, when the sun comes out, the protection should go on. Long sleeves, white brimmed hat, sunglasses and of course sunscreen. Or is it a sunblock? Is there a difference? Is one really better than another? The, those are the common questions and the answers are actually pretty straightforward. To start with the book, uh, both work to protect the skin from the sun damaging UV rays but in the different ways the difference between sunscreen and sun book lock. Sunscreen works just as name implies the screen the skin from damaging the UV rays. Sunscreen is white but is absorbed into the skin when applied and become transparent. When purchasing a screen check to see if it cover both UVA and UVB rays, most sunscreen only cover the UV beta rays. Sunblock physically block the sun UV rays from penetrating the skin, acting as a barrier. Sunblock contain either zinc oxide or titanium oxide to protect the skin against both ultraviolet LA and beta. If you are of certain age or watch a ray turns, from a certain area, you will be familiar with the image of the mother coating their kids nose and a thick cream of the white and pink zinc oxide. How to choose the right SPF? Both sunscreen and sunblock are packed based on the SPF or sun protection factor. This is the number 2 gives you some indication of duration of protection. The higher that the number, the better you should know exactly what that number stand for. The SPF 15 screen or sunblock, for example, will allow you to be in sun 15 times longer than it would normally take to get sunburn. So if your skin burn in 10 minutes without protection, then SPF 15 will give you 150 minutes of coverage. For most outdoor summertime activities, SPF 15 up to SPF 60 is educate. But remember to reapply every hour if you are swimming or otherwise getting splashed or wet or after excessive sweating. So when you and your kids get ready to head aside to some fun in the sun, be prepared and do your homework. Rate the level and make sure have what you need to protect your skin and don't forget the broad brimmed hat and sunglasses the more protection you can give yourself while you are outside and will be better for you so sunglasses and sunscreen sun blocks both are very necessary for you if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe it thank you so much for watching keep watching keep sporting